Welcome back. The next issue for virtual presenters to overcome is the fact that their audiences are usually stretched thin by multitasking. And what I mean by that is that number one, they are usually, and this is the biggest one, extremely distracted. Distracted. Number two, they may have a ton of non-work related issues in the back of their mind like personal finance, their family, and of course, their health. And number three, as much as we'd love for people to be excited and can't wait to hear what we have to say, if it's the first thing in the morning, they may be tired. They may not be fully awake. In this world where everyone is working from home, the, the fact is they may still be in bed, literally. It's an unfortunate thing that we can't control right now, but we must keep in the back of our mind that people may not be as awake and as alert as we would like them to be. They may be tired. Those are Zs. <laughs> and then finally, there are the things that we know more about, obviously, the doorbells, the dogs, the email and social media notifications, and so much more. To combat this, you want to remember that your audience may sometimes be listening to you more than they are watching you. Just like when you're watching a program on TV, you say that you're watching it, but you're not actually watching it. You're listening and you're hearing the dialogue and action way more than you're seeing what's going on on screen. For this reason, presenters absolutely cannot rely on reading from their slides and you can't rely on just showing them either. A few things that you can do, however, to keep your audience's attention is number one, avoid having your biography read before it's your turn to speak. Bios read out loud are absolutely boring. They're horrendously boring and we all hate it, but people keep doing it. Instead, have the person who's introducing you focus on what the audience cares about most and how you are the one to solve that problem for them immediately. If no one is introducing you, then it's your job to do that yourself. And if you don't know how, please check the PDF notes. I'll give you an example on how to do that.